Hello everyone. Today we will be going through the rigid payment failures. And this video will be vital for all the civil engineering aspirants and for those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So, watch the complete video. Before going through the different failure patterns in the rigid payment, I want to add a note that the single most powerful asset we all have is our mind. And if it is trained well, it can create enormous wealth. This is the line that I have taken from the book called The Rich Dad and Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. So these rigid payments are those that possesses considerable flexural strength. The rigid payments are made of cement concrete which may be either plain or reinforced or pre-stressed. These payments have a slab action and are capable of transmitting the wheel loads stresses through a wider area below. The failure of the cement concrete payment generally takes place by the following two reasons. First is the deficiency of the payment materials. Likewise, the second is the structural inadequacy of the payment system. Now, the first failure cause of the rigid payment failure is due to the deficiency of the payment materials in which the different causes are there and the first cause is due to the soft aggregate causing the disintegration of the cement concrete. Likewise, it occurs due to the poor workmanship resulting in the formation of cracks Furthermore, it occurs due to the poor joint filler and the sealing materials. Likewise, it causes due to the pure surface finishing that cause the slippery surfaces. Moreover, due to the improper and insufficient curing resulting in the formation of shrinkage crack and due to the infiltration of surface water through the cracks. The second cause of the failure of the rigid payment is due to the structural inadequacy of the payment system and this is caused due to the following reasons. So this is caused due to inadequate payment thickness or inadequate subgate support that is the major cause of the structural failure of the rigid payment developing the major cracks. Likewise, due to the incorrect spacing of the joints may result in the failure of the rigid payment. Furthermore, they may cause the settlement of the slabs, cracking of the slab corners, widening of the joint and the mud pumping. So friends, these two causes of the rigid payment failure that is the structural inadequacy of the payment system and the deficiency of the payment materials result in the certain typical rigid payment failures which are the scaling of the cement concrete, second is the shrinkage cracks, third is the joint spalling, fourth is the warping cracking and fifth is the mud pumping also known as pumping. So friends, we will go through these typical failure patterns in the rigid payment one by one. So first is our scaling of the cement concrete. The scaling of the cement concrete is mainly due to the deficiency in the mix or presence of the chemical impurities. The excessive vibration given to mix during construction causes the cement mortar to come to the top and this get abraded, exposing aggregates of the mix 
which makes surface rough and savvy in appearance. The second type of the failure patterns that exists in the rigid pavement is the formation of shrinkage cracks. So this shrinkage cracks is the formation of hairline shallow cracks on concrete slab and they generally do not extend through the entire depth of the slab and these shrinkage cracks are generally occurred due to the cement concrete payment immediately being cured after construction and the cracks develop in the shrinkage process in both the lateral as well as the longitudinal directions. The third type of the typical failure patterns that exist in the rigid pavement is the spalling of the joints. And joint spalling is the breakdown of the slab near edge of the joint. It is occurred due to the placing of preformed filler materials at an angle during casting of the pavement slab that deploys the extensive cracks. Furthermore, faulty alignment of incompressible material below the concrete slab also cause this type of failure. In addition to that, the insufficient strength of concrete slab near joints enhance these failure patterns. Moreover, the excessive stress at joint due to the wheel load may cause the spalling of the joints. The fourth type of the typical failure pattern that exists in the rigid pavement is the warping crack. So this warping crack occurs in the hot weather in which the concrete slab tends to expand. So the joints should be designed to bear this expansion. And whenever the joints are not designed properly, it prevents the expansion of concrete slab and therefore results in the development of excessive stress. This stress causes the formation of warping cracking of the concrete slab near the joint edge. Likewise, the warping cracks are caused due to the improper design of the joints and they may occur due to the improper reinforcement provided in the transverse as well as in the longitudinal directions. So to relieve the stress due to warping, generally hinge joints are provided. The fifth type of the typical failure pattern that exists in the rigid pavement is the mud pumping. And mud pumping is said to occur when the soil slurry ejects out through the joints and cracks up the cement concrete pavement. Mud pumping is occurred when there is void space between slab and the underlying base of the subgrade layer. Moreover, it is caused due to the repeated wheel loading causing the erosion of the underlying materials. In addition to that, the infiltration of water through the joints, cracks or edge of the pavement may also result in the mud pumping ultimately causing the failure in the rigid payment. So friends, if you find this video as useful, you can like and share to your friends. And for such videos, stay tuned to this channel. Thank you. We will meet soon in another video.